Yo, crazy Superman here. What is going on? Hampson M7, drop him, bum. C300 versus the SJ Cam C110 Plus. I'm drinking the toilet. Toilet top water soup. <laughs> Today I want to do a product review and comparison of the SJ Cam C300 versus the SJ Cam C110 Plus. My story begin when I smash my GoPro lenses. Last night was so much fun. DJ Soda came to Vancouver starting her world tour. Her first stop is downtown Vancouver, Canada. I was riding my scooter and I fall from my scooter and uh, because I was wearing a GoPro on my chest and it smashed onto the ground. Bah! And the screen is all scratched up really badly. So if I record on this side, then the video will be all blurry. Now, because uh, GoPro Max has two lenses, then I was recording with the other lenses. And another tragic story happened. To see DJ Soda live in person. Uh, it was so much fun beginning from 10 p.m. all the way to 3 a.m. because she was the star, so she was the last to come up. And before her, there were three other DJ, no names. And uh, it was a good long wait for like two and a half hours. Finally, it's DJ Soda. She got up. She is like such an energy bomb, like a like energizer bomb. You like keep jumping. <laughs> My tripod, I was making a video and then suddenly my tripod fall, smash, bang, onto the lenses. So this side is also smashed. Initially it just smashed a little bit, but then another time I was um, putting this on my Segway, I mounted on my Segway and then uh, I was using remote control to control my Segway and I was going too fast, suddenly stop, and it collapsed. Bang! So the lenses is terrible on both sides, all smash. Now, with a camera this expensive, like 550 there, and with tax like $600. <laughs> so she would climb up to the table, jump on the table. And uh, she would come down and then and the interact crowd. So it was really awesome. A very good uh, experience, like once in a lifetime thing. Or maybe a second time if she come back Vancouver next time. Uh, highly recommend everyone to see her. Now I really must see her because every night when I'm playing Overwatch, I will be playing DJ Soda. I have two monitors, right? Main screen for my game and the second screen is DJ Soda playing her music, jumping and she has so many cute dance moves like when you watch her, it's just so incredible so unbelievable, so amazing uh, experience You will think there's an easy solution to replace the lens 
but the GoPro design is that you are not able to replace the lens. You have to buy the whole new thing. I mean, there's some YouTube video show you how to change the lens, but the process is crazy, like cutting it open. Uh, it, like normal people cannot do this. Anyway, so I was stuck with with uh, with with a very bad video or blurry video. Uh, so I was looking for a solution, and when I smash my lenses, I feel so heartbroken. <laughs> so I was looking for an alternative, maybe another GoPro, maybe from Insta360. Uh, but then everything's so expensive, and with with the camera, it's like this, right? You know, I can spend another three, four hundred dollar, and then if something falls, it scratch lenses. You know, it really break your heart. So about six months ago, on the June first, June fourth, I got the SJ Kim <laughs> from AliExpress. This is like hundred twenty dollar. So I was like, okay, you know, at least I have something to to record, you know, without the problem of the lenses. And uh, my GoPro can still do three sixty because. Uh, from this angle on the 360, although it's the lens is scratched, it's still kind of okay. But when I'm doing like this type of video, like regular video shooting, then the lens is smashed, so it's no good. So after I placed the order pretty soon, I got it. So I was very impressed with the size. It's so tiny. This is so small. Now I have a crazy challenge. Uh, last week uh, there was blackout, so I bought this portable cooktop to cook my dinner at home. Uh, so I thought, oh, I can use this to to picnic in the park. So this is what I'm going to do today. I'm going to bring my portable cooktop, and then I'll bring two eggs, and then uh, instant noodle, some spoon to eat and a small cooktop so I'm gonna ride my UC to my local park it comes with a bunch of different accessories eh? like um, this is the let me push this up this is the magnetic plate accessory right and then there's a clip accessory and then there's the battery pack and the second screen. Like you can connect this, then you have front screen and then your back screen. And then there's another accessory piece for mounting. In this case, I mount to a, a camera. Like when I take photo, I can have video recording me. I can rock like this, it's pretty cool. You also get the helmet mount, so you can mount the camera onto the helmet as well. My portable cooktop, okay. And then uh, put put eggs underneath, okay. And then put any uh, other bag this together so it doesn't go around anywhere. My utensil. Put it in. There. There. Very tiny. And my noodle. So I have two egg noodle. And <laughs> I'm ready for picnic. This is fun. And I put my C110 Plus on top of the helmet. Later we can see some scenery as well. And I mount this on my chest with the magnet. Okay, let's go for some adventure. First coffee shop. Initially I thought, oh, maybe this is not so good, you know, cause so cheap, only $120. But for the next six months, I made a ton of video with this camera. For one thing, it's really tiny, really, convenient to carry around 
I mean, what is the best camera? The best camera is the one you have with you on your hand. Uh, you might have a much better camera, the SLR, or you might have, you know, but because this is so tiny, and it's very easy to carry with you, and uh, this become my top camera choice. And let me show you how easy to carry this. See, huh? see I put it on. When I go out, this camera with with me all the time. This is like a necklace. Now I show everybody the secret. This piece, for whatever reason, they don't include in the package. So you have to purchase additionally for like ten dollar. But then this is a game changer, because. This is just like a necklace, right? I wear this all the time. And then, um, even when I don't plan to record any video, I just, this is where I put the camera, you know? I have a camera necklace. Like, it's just so tiny, so small, like, uh, it doesn't scare people. Like, if you have a GoPro on your chest, people know it's a GoPro. People get scared. Like, you're recording video or something, you know? But this is this is so tiny, right? And when I see the video result, you can see my video in the last six months. A lot of them are shot with this one, the C three hundred. Oh, I look awesome! Put the camera on top and my new helmet, and uh, see, I have two cameras: one on my head, one on the chest. This is very cool. Let's go have some picnic fun in the park cooking hot noodle yeah and uh, the audio has a little bit of compression uh, other than that it's fairly loud and fairly clear don't have to do much post-production uh, for processing the audio and uh, it was actually uh, like GoPro is the best right no doubt but for $110, I can get fairly good audio quality and fairly good video quality. Uh, there's some stabilization as well. You know, I run around, shoot video like this. Uh, it's pretty good. Now I show you how to pop and change the battery. I mean, the battery by itself is already good. I can record probably around one hour of time. So here's my plan. First, I want to get some coffee. You can record much, much longer. You connect like this, and then you can turn it on. Then it become like a, like a little pocket two camera, like DJI, you know, similar design, except without the gimbal, mechanical gimbal. But when you record like this, it's kind of nice too. You know, it's is a you can hold this thing like right now I'm recording and I can change the camera I'm entering the park but before I start cooking I want to get coffee from Starbucks if you are vlogging yourself you want to frame yourself you can see like this Because I was so happy with it. Then I was like, oh, this SJ Cam, you know, this, this Chinese company, they are kind of good. So I decided to buy another one. And for $120, you get dual screen, touch screen, and a bunch of GoPro accessories. And, and, uh, and, uh, 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 uh a linear too. And there's also a, a water housing. This is the water housing. So it's like, oh my god, this is such an incredible deal. So much good deal for so cheap. And this is what happened. Because so cheap, if you drop this, you smash this, uh, you break this, it doesn't break your heart. Like, for several times, I... I accidentally dropped on the ground and smashed it many times and it's still in very good condition. No, no, any big problem. And uh, so I was 
very impressed with the build quality. The only thing I would have to complain or I could complain about is probably How's your day? How's your day? Okay. <laughs> I'm I'm doing picnic today. I put in a portable oh. cooktop, instant noodle, eggs, I'm gonna get two tomatoes and cook in the park. In the park? In the park. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Just for fun. Yeah, 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 yeah. How's your day? Huh? How's your day? It's okay. <laughs> I'm I'm doing picnic today. I bring a portable oh. cooktop, instant noodle, eggs. I'm gonna get two tomato and cook in the park. In the park? In the park. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah just for fun. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. The CPU, the boot up time. This one, when you turn it on, it takes a few seconds to boot it up. And when you try to switch screen, it, it's a little bit delay. Like it's not a very snappy CPU. It's like a, a slow CPU inside. Hi, uh, tall pipe with Sony, of course. Tall pipe with Sony, is it? Yeah. Anything else for you? Oh, that's it. Hi, uh, tall pipe with Sony, of please. Tall pipe with Sony? Yeah. Anything else for you? Oh, that's it. How are you playing? Master car. Micro SD. It's a complete different engineering. Uh, to my surprise, in the beginning when I get this, I was having trouble getting a memory card out. Because with the GoPro, you just pop open, right? And then you can get the memory card out, right? But with, with this, it's a little bit complicated. I was like, mm, why do they design such a way? Like, it's like a cell phone design. You have to slide this open, pop open, and then take it out. So this is very difficult to remove. I was like, why they have such a, a dump design? Like, when you record video, you have to, you have to uh, get it out all the time. Why would they make it so difficult to pop out? You have to pop out the battery and get to the memory card, it's kind of annoying. But as I use it more, then I realize, whoa, this is completely different engineering, another level, it's much better. Here's why. I arrived at my destination. Here I have a good cover, uh, so, no rain inside here. And there, there's a water fountain. I can get water for my cooking. And if I have to go to the bathroom, also right next to the bathroom. So this is a good place to be cooking my picnic can start right here. The design of this is more like a cell phone, right? Instead of getting the memory card out, you just plug in the Type-C cable, which is included. So you connect the Type-C cable, and then there's the option, you can let it become a webcam, or you can let it become a, a mass storage, or you can just do charging. So this is what happened. If you need to copy the video file or edit the video file, you just connect the Type-C and choose mass storage, and that's it. By itself is a memory card reader. You just have to plug in the Type C cable. Now, GoPro cannot do that. Doesn't have the function. So with this, I never have to get the memory card out. On the GoPro, I have to take it out all the time, put it on the memory card reader, and that's what I was used to. But with this one, it function kind of like a cell phone. You just plug it in. Uh, you can edit the file, the video on the fly, render it on the fly. And you never have to remove the memory card file, which I think is a better design, a smarter design. And this one is a belt clip. Let's uh, open this. My cooktop. Oh, yeah, baby. This is going to be fun. Like, 
do really stupid thing. <laughs> this one flip over. And this I can make sure it's in the right spot. Okay. Close it. Lock it. Okay, this side perfect. Yeah, now I have my fire. Getting my water. Get some water. <clears throat> Fuck, no water. Anyway, I was very impressed with this camera. Although it looks feel kind of cheap, it feel like like cheap plastic. But I dropped this several times. Uh, it's no problem. It's very strong, and uh, so that's why I I I decided to get the uh, SJ Cam C110 Plus. I like to get another one to try it out because. I was so impressed with the SJ cam, the first camera, so I got this one to try it out. Now, when this arrived, this is blow my mind. I mean, this, like, so tiny. Look at them side by side. Now, this one is already kind of IP64 rating, kind of waterproof, and you can see if it feels nice. Like, there's rubber coating around it for protection. For drop, for shock, for water, and the charging port is covered with this water protection. And one place for memory card, and one place is for Type C. And this one, there's no screen, and that's what I like. And not only that, the the screen on this one is about 135 degree. This one is 170 degree. This is fish eye lens, so and. There's already magnet built in. You don't any adapt. You don't need. You don't need any housing adapter to to get the memory. It just snap on right away. And when this one, when you walk around with it, the video is so good. It's like you are right there, the 170 degree field of view, and uh, it's just so tiny, not noticeable. Like if you put on a GoPro, you know, on your chest, you know. This freak people out, like, oh, why are you recording? But this one is so tiny, right? It's like, it's like not so obvious. And no, there's no screen. So this is just so crazy, so unbelievable. And then in the beginning, I was like, okay, there's no screen. How do you know you are recording? How do you, how do you know? Like, well, I guess I was just going to use tap water. What the? Let's say I want to record, right? I press and hold the power button for seven seconds. And then, now let's turn on. And then if I'm recording, I press the same button once. There's a one beep sound. That means it's recording. So like, right, so like right now it's recording. And when I finish recording, right now it's recording. And when I finish recording, right, I press the button one more time. And because there's a bump, you can feel. So I don't even have to see, right? I can just feel the first bump or second bump. The second bump is the Wi-Fi button. So I, I press the first bump like this. Then there's a beep beep. That means it's stop. And same thing, if I want to shut it off, I press for 7 seconds. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Then it will shut off. Then I hear the chime. If I want to turn it on, once again, press for 7 seconds. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. On. Dun, 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 dun. 
Why the water fountain stop working? What the? That could ruin my plan. Okay, let's start the fire. This is exciting, man. Make sure it's in the right position. Okay, let's start the fire. Oh, oh yeah. Because this is a magnet, this is so small, I could take so many kinds of interesting shots. Like quickly, just show you. Like, you know, if I'm making a, a cooking video, then I can show, you know, how I put into the, you know, with, with the door open, with the tray going, and then add it in the program, right? And, you know, I, I'm cooking something, you know, I can just mounted right on the fridge recording and uh, just anything metal you can you can stick to it like this you know there's a light you know I can record and so this is extremely uh, versatile and now I'll just show people some cool idea like get my egg ready get my noodle ready Put my utensil here for now because I want to sit down. Here is a little bit wet. I can sit on a plastic bag like this. Let's sit here and it's dry. Oh, yeah. And now I'm cooking. The fire is keeping me warm. Nice to have coffee. Okay. In the laundry, right? I can mount the video onto the onto the laundry right there. <laughs> and throw throw the clothes in like that. Okay? Then you get some really cool shot. So I did this at my gym at the swimming pool and I got some really cool results. And uh, I'm just so satisfied with the J Kim camera and this one is only $110 <laughs> so I was uh, really impressed with the price I uh, really enjoy it and another thing I could do is like I put the camera here and then I play my overwatch and I can see my screen my gameplay my control uh, <clears throat> The audio not as good as the C three hundred, but it's good enough. I mean, it's usable. I have to make a little bit louder in the software editing program, uh, but the video quality is nice. There's also anti shake, um, so the sound quality is a little bit better on this one. The video quality because wider angle is kind of better on this one. And uh, this is with built-in magnet, magnet, so no need for housing. And also come with a bunch of accessories, same like strap, like uh, a GoPro mount, and uh, <coughs> underwater housing. I use this at the uh, swimming pool, and and really impressed. Like this, you put this in, and this is a belt clip, like like this one for putting on to anything. Uh, type C cable. Okay, you can start putting the sauce into the soup. <laughs> My water is from toilet. Tap water. I guess in Canada it's uh, safe to do that. Holy smoke, the rain is getting big. So, uh, I I give both camera uh, two thumb up. For one thing, the price is so cheap, right? Let's say if you lose the camera, oh, 
it doesn't break your heart, right? It's only hundred bucks, and uh, let's say you you lost it, you smash it, right? Just buy another one. But try try lost a GoPro camera, right? Try smash a GoPro camera. Like you know how broken it's like. We taxed six hundred dollar. My God, but with that J cam, you get. Fairly good quality, in some way it's better. Like, like you know, when you mount this on your chest, you know, so tiny. Like this GoPro cannot do. And this is a magnet, stick onto anything. Like a little slug, go on anything. The GoPro cannot do. And this no screen is kind of nice. Sometimes you encounter some privacy freak. Eh? And I can open this. Is uh my hand too wet? The egg a uh, little bit extra went in, but that's fine. Just tiny little bit. Uh, let's crack another little egg. Okay. Oh, it's uh, not boiling. Wait, you're boiling before we put the noodle. This is kind of a uh, romantic, right? You uh, cook in a big rain, while very different feeling. Whenever they see camera, you know, especially if you got a big one like this, they go crazy. They'll be like, oh, "Why you have a big camera? Are you taking picture of me?" <laughs> like really crazy. But this one is so tiny, so discreet. And let's say if you have a jacket. If you don't want to people see your camera, right? You can just put on the jacket, right? And just zip it up. Right? And nobody even see. And when you want to record, you can just zip it down. Or open the zipper. Yeah. Now, with this magnet, sometimes it will... Sometimes it will... It will be tilted like this, so you kind of have to be consciously make it straight. Yeah, so the video will come out perfect. Uh, let's put the noodle in. Doesn't look like it's boiling. Oh, I have to wait longer, but uh, good enough. Let's put the noodle in. Okay, that's all I want to say. About the SJ Cam uh, camera, mm, they are pretty good. Highly recommend. Very cheap. Doesn't break your bank. Uh, very good to have. And guess what? I'm getting another SJ Cam. So I have the C300. I have the C110 Plus. Okay, it's boiling now. You see, boiling. Finally, took a long time. I guess cooking in the rain is different. Long time to boil. And I am getting another one. C100 Plus. So it's the previous version of this. Not as good as this one. However, mm, you can get several angles. You know, sometimes you want to have multi angle. And because they are so good, you know, so tiny. Uh, I would like to have another one, you know, to experiment, to play, and uh, just to, you know, because their, their product gave me a lot of happiness. So I want to have more of SJ Cam. <laughs> oh, yeah. Picnic in the rain with a hot. Oh, yeah. Picnic in the rain. With a hot noodle, yeah, and two eggs, lots of protein. A little bit cold, but it's fine. This hot noodle gonna make me warm. Hmm, <laughs> this is yummy. GoPro, it's top quality. The video, the audio, all super nice. But these can break your heart. I still use GoPro for the 360, right? When I send this out, I want to show the whole body EUC shot, live action. GoPro is still good. 
But uh, I'm not. I'm not gonna get another GoPro. Just way too expensive. And recently, I got this DJI Pocket Two and a DJI Osmo Action Cam. Those are good too, cause I got second hand, very cheap. So I have many cameras to play with. Depending what I'm doing, I can choose the the best camera. Earlier, the spoon got so hot, I touch, I burn a little bit. So you see, this uh, camera is very good, tiny, easy to carry. Magnetic onto your chest. This is a very long video, but uh, I want you guys to learn everything about the camera as well. Uh, so that's it for now. Like this video, thumb up, subscribe to more crazy Superman dropping bomb. Ciao. See, on day off, this is my adventure. <laughs> Riding in UC and uh, cooking in the park. Two camera for two hundred dollar. Can I even buy a GoPro? But now I have very cool multi angle. I can make awesome video. This audio not bad. Once I was wearing this one on the magnetic, and I fall from my UC. I got bruise injury everywhere, and the camera stay tight, no problem. <laughs> I was surprised the camera is still okay. Like it's still on the magnetic, it doesn't fall off. I wonder why the water fountain stopped working. <laughs> I ate the eggshell. I cracked into the soup. I'm drinking the toilet, toilet tub water soup. <laughs> Am I gonna be sick? This toilet tub water soup delicious. Didn't expect that to happen in my video. When you uh, make video, any kind of surprise will happen. Like I wouldn't know the fountain, water fountain, stop working. If I had to bring my own water, spring water, that would be costly, heavy, and uh, headache. I guess your own spring water is better than toilet tub water. <laughs> Once I was at McDonald's eating a bunch of fries and Coca-Cola and on the way down, step down, I made a big burp. <laughs> and there was a girl right in front of me going up the stairs and uh, she was shocked. Like, holy, holy smoke, what is that burp? <laughs> Sounded like burping sound. So let's clean a little bit just to wash up the the really big stuff. So make it kind of clean before I pack into my bag. So my bag will become dirty. Hey, okay. let's throw this garbage and pack my stove away. Ta-da! Good season cleaning up after the eat. Uh, okay. That was a fun adventure. Uh, let's go. Let's wear my glove. This glove is waterproof, so inside is all dry. What a fun picnic. Let's go. Let's go, zip it up. But I can still record sound with that. Get my coffee. Okay, let's go. <laughs> Picnic complete, hooray. Welcome to Vancouver. How you enjoy this uh, rainy every day? Very important is to have fun adventure like this. So that was some fun adventure uh, with my camera and the helmet. And uh, let's put on the computer, edit, and uh, make a fun video.